Hello and welcome back to week two of our six week home barista boot camp. So this week we are focusing on extracting better shots. Now, first of all, this series is designed to be viewed in order. So if you haven't seen episode one, watch that one first to learn some basics about uh, specialty coffee and then come back to this one. Now, the goal of this video is to help you understand extraction. And while it can be a little bit tricky if you don't really understand what's going on, if you learn a few key concepts, it'll be really easy for you to dial in your coffee. Now, espresso extraction is basically just made up of three things. So you've got the coffee that's going into the portafilter, we call that the dose. You've got the espresso that's falling out into the cup, we call that the yield. And you've got the time it took to happen, which we might call the flow rate. Now, to begin with for extraction, you want to keep your dose, so the coffee going into the portafilter, and your yield, which is the espresso falling out, consistent. So let's start with the dose, which is that coffee going into the portafilter. Now most commercial baskets will have a rating which basically means uh, how much coffee you can fit into those baskets and that might range anywhere from 18 to 22 grams. And for your smaller domestic espresso machines that number might be a little bit lower, the size of the basket is a bit smaller. Now if you don't know how your basket is rated, uh, a lot of the time there is a little ridge and basically as your coffee is tamped down it should be sitting about level with that ridge. So once you find out how much coffee fits nicely in your portafilter basket, that is going to be your dose. So for example, for my Rocket Giotto here, I have a 20 gram basket, so I'm going to weigh out that 20 grams and make sure that's going in there all the time. Now for your yield or for your espresso coming into the cup, to start off with, let's go with two times the dose. So what I mean by that is if your dose is 20 grams like I have here, I want my yield to be 40 grams. And we call that a ratio of one to two. Now, when we get uh, further into advanced extraction, you can play around with those ratios, but let's just think of one to two for now. So I have a fancy set of scales that sits underneath the cup as I'm extracting the coffee. So I can tell straight away what my yield is going to be. But if you don't have that, uh, just weigh the yield afterwards and get a bit of a sense in the cup that you're using where your uh, yield kind of leads you. And of course, some machines have volumetric buttons so you can program the yield so that it'll deliver a fairly consistent amount every time. So the last thing we have is the flow rate or the time that extraction is running for. Now that starts from the moment you start the extraction. So the moment that pump turns on and the water starts running through that coffee, we're counting the whole time until we turn it back off again. Now as a ballpark figure for balanced extraction, if you have a ratio of one to two, so thinking back it's 20 grams in, 40 grams out, and that runs for 26 to 32 seconds, you should get a fairly balanced extraction. If your extraction runs faster than 26 seconds, so that means 25, 24, 23, etc., faster, you're gonna get an under-extracted coffee, and the espresso shot is gonna to tend to taste sour. And if your extraction runs longer than 32 seconds, so 33, 34, 35, etc., you're gonna to tend to over-extract the coffee, and that's gonna taste bitter. Whereas if you get that balanced extraction in the middle, that 26 to 32 seconds, you should get a balance of acidity, uh, sweetness, body, all of these things working together to create a really nice balanced espresso extraction. So all we can do to check out what time we're running is to uh, pull a shot. So take out your portafilter, rinse the shower screen, give your portafilter basket a good wipe. We want the portafilter basket to be nice and dry and clean. Now, before we put any coffee into this portafilter, we're gonna sit it onto our scales and tear the scales so the weight of the portafilter is taken off. We're then gonna start grinding the coffee and slowly filling the portafilter. The way we wanna do this is let that coffee fall evenly into that portafilter as evenly as possible so that we're gonna distribute those grounds nice and evenly. When we get that portafilter basket mostly full, we're gonna sit it back on the scale, check our uh, dose against what we think we're gonna use, make any slight adjustments if we need to, so we've got the correct dose. Now, a one gram difference in your dose can make a three or four seconds difference in your extraction time. So you can see why if you're not using scales, your extractions can be uh, quite all over the place. Uh, if you don't have any scales and you're going to extract coffee without scales, try and figure out a way to keep your dose as consistent as possible. Okay, so we've got our coffee into our portafilter. Now, before we tamp the coffee, we're gonna do what's called distribution. So we're gonna try and level that coffee out so that it's nice and easy to tamp it nice and straight and so that the density of that puck is nice and even. And the easiest way to do that is with a palm tap. So hold the portafilter with one hand and gently tap it with your other hand and you'll see the coffee grounds kind of settling down. You can move the portafilter around slightly as you're tapping it to level out those grounds. Once you've done this distribution, it's actually quite easy to tamp nice and straight. So sit the portafilter down on the edge of your table, take your tamper and sit it on the coffee. Don't push down just yet. Use your thumb and your index finger to make sure it's nice and level all the way around. 
and then tamp with your forearm over the top. So keep your elbow up and tamp down nice and straight. So we've got our coffee ready. All that's left to do is lock it in and extract it. So we're gonna start this extraction and we're gonna start the timer as we turn on the pump and we're gonna watch and see how this coffee extracts. So we've got our parameters of 20 grams in, 40 grams out in 26 to 32 seconds. So we can see with this first extraction, the coffee has run through too quickly. So the way that water traveled through that coffee puck, uh, there wasn't that much resistance and it flowed through too fast. So what we need to do is change our extraction so the water flows through a little bit slower and then that way it'll extract in our time of 26 to 32 seconds. But how do we do that you ask? So uh, we're going to keep some things the same. Our dose is going to be the same, our yield or our extraction is going to stay the same. So the way we're going to manipulate the flow rate is by adjusting the grind. Think of the grind in your coffee basket as either a bucket of rocks or a bucket of sand. If you have a bucket of rocks, those rocks are quite big so the water will flow through pretty easily. If you have a bucket of sand, those sand particles are really small, so the water will slowly absorb down through the sand, but it'll take a while to get to the bottom. So in this situation where we have the water flowing through quite easily, we have the bucket of rocks and we need to make it more like the sand. So for our grind setting, we need to make it finer. Now, when you're adjusting your grind, just adjust it a little bit at a time. On this grinder that I'm using here, one little notch adjustment can make about three or four seconds difference to our extraction. Now, if you have any other coffee that's already ground out in this grinder, you need to clear that out because it's gonna be at the same grind. And there's sometimes a little bit of grind retention in your grinder as well. So it might be a couple of shots before you see the difference in your extraction. Now, conversely, if you had an extraction that was running really slowly, and say the shot ran for 35, 36 seconds, then you need to adjust your grind coarser. So you need to take it from that bucket of sand to the bucket of rocks. So we're gonna go a little bit coarser in that situation. Now, if you get any of these under extracted or over extracted shots, you should have a little taste of them and understand the difference between those uh, badly extracted shots and those really nicely extracted shots. So the big thing to remember about extraction is consistency. We're gonna keep the dose the same. We're gonna keep the yield the same and we're gonna keep that flow rate between 26 and 32 seconds. And whenever our extractions are outside of that 26 to 32 seconds, we're gonna make grind adjustments to bring it back into that spot. If you can understand these concepts and you're using freshly roasted specialty coffee, then it should be very easy for you to brew great coffee at home. Now, if you're loving this course so far and you wanna support Coffee Fusion, the best way to do that is to buy your coffee through us. So you can either do a one-off order with that discount code and get yourself a little bit of a discount, or you can sign up to our subscription and get yourself a free sample pack and try a bunch of our coffees. And then we'll just keep the coffee coming at uh, your delivery interval that you chose. Thank you so much again for being part of this course. Uh, it's only two weeks in, but I've heard lots of great comments. Any question, uh, get at me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all those kind of things. And we'll see you for the next episode next week, which is on texturing silky milk. Keep frothing.